Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's Dinix, and today we'll be talking about mission file setup. Um, so the first thing which you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the editor and load up a map. Doesn't matter which map, just pick one. And then you're going to go to scenario, save as. You're going to go to um, missions should be already selected. And then you're just going to create a mission file. Um, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what you call it. Just name it something. Just type in the name right here. Then make sure uh, binarize the scenario file is unchecked and then just click save. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to um, go to your file explorer. And then you're going to go to documents, arm three other profiles, your profile name. So that means whichever profile you created the mission on. You go to missions and then your mission file should be right there. Now once you do that, make sure you got Visual Studio Code open. And go ahead and drag this into Visual Studio Code. You know what we, you know, Visual Studio Code is the program we installed in the first video. You're just going to drag that straight into there. You can go and exit out of these if these pop up. That's just updates and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this real quick. And you're going to create a couple files within your mission file. Now, Mission SQM will already be there. That's uh, the mission SQM is which holds all like the object data and all that other stuff. So that will that will already be there. But you need to but you need to gonna you're gonna want to create. Let's see here, how many files we got? Like six files. So you're gonna want to create description.ext, init.sqf, init.player.local.sqf, init.player.server.sqf init server.sqf and on player respawn sqf you're going to create those files um with wh where your mission uh .sqm file is and um throughout the tutorial series we'll be going through these sqf files and i'll be showing you what they all mean um the description.ext um, it is used to set overall mission attributes or to define global entities that will be available for other scripts. So this will be used for uh, creating con creating your own configs. Uh, this will be used for um, dialogue. We'll, we'll, we'll need to use this for dialogue. Um, and we'll be using it for a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, the init.sqf. This executes any scripts when the mission is started. We'll mainly be using this a lot. Um, init player local. Um, it executes locally when a player joins a mission, which means it will only locally, which means it'll only execute locally on the machine. So it won't broadcast out to the server. It'll only execute on that machine. Um, init player server is executed only um, only on a server when a when a player joins the mission. So when a player joins the mission. Um, this whatever code you have here will execute on the server. Uh, the init server is only executed when the server or the init server is only executed uh, when the mission is started. So when the mission starts on the server, this will be executed once and that is it. Uh, on player respawn is executed locally when the player respawns in a multiplayer session. So if you click respawn, it will execute anything within this uh, file. And uh, yeah, so the next uh, next video I will be doing will be an ad action video. I'll show you guys how to use ad actions. I'm gonna go and skip hello world. It's kind of pointless. So we'll just dive right into it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.